Holy smoles, welcome to the What the Hell Everything podcast. What the fuck is the day? Today, Whedon is Day, June 12th, 2024. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. If you're on the live stream, uh, it gets presented sort of like a radio show. Reactions in, well, they are songs, but uh, uh, in the place of the talkie bits. And then it gets all chopped up. Reactions get posted at another time on the tubes, and then, of course, the podcast, wherever you enjoy this goddamn thing. <laughs> wherever you do, thank bless your heart. Uh, if you're downloading it, if you're just streaming it, if uh, you're checking it out at all, my tip my hat to you. Ooh, here we go. Fucking showtime. Here, <laughs> in the smith hole. And let's get this fucking thing kicked off, man. With the word of the day, there's a lot of stuff to yap about. A lot of fun headline scrolls. Uh, just all the ways I am getting fucking old, including the worst one. That's, man. Whew. 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 That's all right. We all get older. I usually embrace it. I usually enjoy it. I really love getting wiser. And learning things, I really do think that has been a benefit for me. You know, but just things like your body falling apart. It's fucking shitty. <laughs> oh, yeah, what are we doing? The word of the fucking day. Let's switch over this input here. Jam into the fucking Northern Irish band, Stiff Little Fingers. And I'm following up with Stiff Little Fingers today on uh, if you're checking out the live stream. So uh, that'll be fucking fun. Something live from Stiff Little Fingers. A band I've fucking fallen in love with, man, with just hearing two songs. Really, really in punk rock fucking love. Anyway, the word of the day. Let's go to dictionary.com and learn a word or, t- well, maybe at least one. Ooh, dulcify. Am I saying that right? Dulcify. Yeah. I did it. Man, I feel like I know what this word means. Dulcet. Is it like uh, like dulcet tones? Uh, I feel like it's uh, similar to soothing, perhaps? Huh? Meanings and examples. To sweeten. What did I say? To soothe? That's kind of... We're on the right fucking track here, Smith. Uh, it's a verb. First used between 1590 to 1600. Derived from the late Latin dulcifer, dulcifare, to sweeten with ficare. I'm saying that fucking horribly wrong. That was Italian for sure. Uh, which makes me wonder, what is the uh, language most closely based to Latin? Like old Latin. Anyway, just musing here. Uh, derived from the late Latin, I already said that. A verbal suffix meaning to make or to to cause to do, render. Uh, she added honey to the tea to dulcify it, making it more enjoyable. Fuck in a. The word of the day, we've learned things. I feel like dulcify. I nailed that kind of, you know, in a way. You know, the sweet tones. I kind of fucking, what's the, doesn't even say what the root word is. So I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Happens quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> man, I fucking, <sighs> I have a shitty memory. I'm an absent-minded motherfucker, and I have been my entire life. I don't know if it's getting worse with age. It has to, we, and, and weed has to exacerbate it, exacerbate it, even though, you know, I cut off the marijuana uh, at a certain point of day if I'm going to have anything to do, like go to work, you know, like some hours in between. And... Uh, uh, but I, do, I know when I'm high, my memory tends to go to shit way easier. <laughs> but overall, I don't know if it's getting worse or not. I don't know. I don't know. Because here's the thing. I, I, again, my whole life of shitty memory, but I didn't even really start smoking weed up until I was 40, like eight years ago. Including that nine years ago. And uh, so I don't know if it's made it worse or not. But man... What did I have? The fucking parking lot fiasco where I forgot where I parked at family fair <laughs> and wandered around like a dickhead, just looking around for fucking everything. But then, at work, I serve 
await tables at uh, the fantastic Bourbon 72. Turtle Creek Casino. <laughs> Overall, I would think I'm a very good server. You know, I'm on top of things. I tend to go, you know, pretty balls to the wall. I'm kind of fast, you know. I, I move fast to get shit done. And, you know, the only th- really the only hindrance there is the memory. <laughs> because historically, you know, like taking orders and waiting tables was not my strong suit. I did that shit years ago, 20 years ago. I was fucking horrible at it. I didn't know how to multitask. My memory was shit. And I didn't know how to fucking uh, 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 organize myself, you know, to to do that job. Because you got to be fucking super organized, man. And you got to multitask like a motherfucker. But again, I was pretty fucking young. I was like 25. And <laughs> this time around, I f- figured out a system. As I say, getting older fucking, you know, ben- is a benefit to figuring yourself out, so to speak. So I'm, I'm a pretty good fucking server, you know? But again, that pesky memory just uh, creeps in or just goes out every once in a while. <laughs> it just goes away. And this one fucking day, man. I had, uh, uh, had, had this lovely couple in. And uh, great dinner, great service. I think I gave great service. <laughs> pretty sure. And uh, uh, up until this point, because it had to have been so weird for these people, bless their hearts. <laughs> you know, I said, hey, here's a dessert menu. I'll give you a couple minutes with that, and I'll come back and see about your dessert. And uh, I went back to the kitchen to just kind of wait, right around, putz around, uh, shoot the shit with people, whatever. And somewhere in there, <laughs> I completely forgot that these fine folks that I just mentioned had already eaten their food. And I just go to myself, self, where's their fucking food? Why haven't they got their food yet? I'm like, I, I think I, I can't remember if I saw it on the board and it just hadn't been deleted yet or I didn't see it on the board anymore and freaked the fuck out. The point of the story is, is that I then kind of freaked out <laughs> because I was questioning everybody. Where's these people's food? Where did it go? And increasingly sort of getting uh, uh, pissy because I was panicking at that point. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why hasn't this food come out? It kind of picked a fight with the chef. Uh, It was one of those things when it was uh, something along the lines of, uh, hey, don't raise your voice, Smith. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> and I was, that's just one thing that when I hear it, it really makes the level go up higher. And um, it's one of those things I'm trying to rein back in, you know, those anger issues. Because uh, I then, I kind of, again, kind of picked a fight. Where are these people's food? Get on it. Uh, it hasn't come out yet. And we we're all trying to figure it out. And, I'm, and, and it was kind of like, okay, well, we're going to make these, remake this meal. <laughs> that I didn't know was being remade, (laughs) somehow I thought it got missed. (sighs) Fuck. And then I said, okay, they're remaking this. I got to go explain to these people that their uh, meal is going to be late. And I walk up to the fucking table and didn't even notice the dessert menu on the table (laughs) and didn't put two and three together. And I just said, guys, I'm really sorry. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, your food is going to be late, and uh, I'm really sorry. We're going to try to uh, get this one on the house <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> and I'm there like, what are you talking about? We ate, we're, I'm like, oh, that's right. You didn't know the dessert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And I didn't even like, and I didn't even say to these people at that point, okay, well, I'll get your bill then, or do you want dessert? Because it totally skipped my mind. My mind was on the fact that these people, that they're remaking the food due to my mistake. And I'm like, oh no, I got to walk back there and tell them to stop making this. (laughs) But that, I tell you what, uh, as bad as the memory was, the feeling of walking back to the kitchen which, I don't know, fucking 50 feet, <laughs> something like that, was the longest walk of my life. If you ever read, read the Stephen King as Richard Bachman, the pseudonym Richard Bachman, his novel, The Long Walk, that's what it felt like. Just fucking took forever, and all sorts of things and that I'm contemplating 
and the dread that I'm feeling that I have to go back and eat fucking shit to these guys <laughs> that I caused a big ass kerfluffle for no fucking reason whatsoever. Other than I'm a fucking dipshit. That's the only one. And I had to go apologize and be like, hey, look, I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, I got this one wrong. Uh, this was my fuck up. I totally forgot and explained it. And then went back another time and pulled them aside to just say, I'm really sorry for like how I reacted. It was a fucking terrible thing. Uh, uh, and just, man, that actually sent me on a real, real solid 24-hour fucking depression where I was just like, I can't fucking believe. And again, I don't know if it's worse than it ever has been, but I don't know if I've ever just fucking erased a memory. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I don't know that that's ever happened. Uh, uh, but again, that was in just that moment, I reverted back to old Smitty. In the reaction, and I mean, the memory was something new, kind of, uh, but it was pretty fucking shitty. That instant feeling if i would have just sat with it which i've learned to do pretty fucking well is when something fucking pisses you off or something's wrong that immediate fucking knee-jerk reaction uh overreaction many many times on my fucking part is has gotten to the point where when something like that happens i'm like wait a second Think about this. <laughs> do that thing that most people do and fucking think. Uh, that's really all you have to do. And in that moment, I didn't fucking do that. That, uh, that feeling that I forgot it and they didn't get their food uh, immediately went to fucking pissed off fucking frustration in panic mode. And I caused a big ass fucking kerfuffle. <laughs> and, uh, I was really fucking pissed off at myself and really pissed off at that like regression you know, uh, of self, but you got to allow those things. Uh, you know, and I felt, man, I'll I'll apologize. I a firm believer that you own it when you fuck up. And, uh, but the feeling of having to do it, (laughs) uh, was not good. Uh, but Hey, you got to eat shit every fucking once in a while, man, you know, and take some fucking memory exercise courses online or something. Fucking, it's got to be some YouTube videos <laughs> or something. <laughs> Maybe a doctor visit. That'll come next in the fucking uh, podcast, by the way. <sighs> it was the worst thing that's ever happened <laughs> in the entire fucking world. wonder if anybody is on the live stream. Hi to Joe. But did they get the dessert? <laughs> uh, no, actually, they did not get the dessert. <laughs> actually did not get the dessert because uh, I don't know if that off put them or just, and that happens quite a bit where somebody gets the dessert menu and they decide, no, nah, not really. I'd, I'd prefer not to, which I understand. I've done that many times as well. Usually I do get the dessert. If I get the dessert menu, uh, that's something I'm fucking on a mission for, but um, they did not get the dessert. I don't know if that, if that, that whole awkward exchange with the fucking meal. Why didn't you get your meal? Because uh, I have Alzheimer's apparently. I don't know. I don't know why, but I was going to ask. Here's another example of getting old. I think it's fucking hilarious. I don't even know what my eyebrows are doing right now. And it doesn't matter. I don't necessarily think I'm a vain person. I think I'm not a fashionable person. You'll... You fucking know that I wear the same goddamn clothes all the time if you watch these fucking podcasts. You know... uh, I'm not, a, I don't think I'm a vain person, but these fucking eyebrows are so goddamn gnarly. And it's one of those things where I'm turning into my father, you know, that's when he does not trim his eyebrows and they are fucking massive. They are like two caterpillars just fucking sticking out all the time like that. And they fucking go different directions and things. And now this is fucking happening over the last, I don't know, however many years, three to four or five, maybe so probably since 40. I don't know, uh, where it's just, if I don't, and I'm grow, letting my hair grow, I want to grow my hair out, I want to get some long rock and roll hair, I've been wanting it all my life, and uh, uh, so I haven't got my hair cut in a while, and I don't trim my fucking eyebrows myself, because that's just asking for a disaster, 
you know, I'm going to fuck something up and just walk around looking puzzled all the time. But now I just look like I'm fucking, you know, crazy. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I could probably fucking have some rad like TikTok bit where I'm just fucking uh, uh, like a Gollum schizophrenic conversation where it's like fucking <laughs> almost like a, uh, uh, Hey, how's your day today? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Could you do that? Fucking, uh, uh, I, I can't even, doesn't even, I can't tell on this fucking uh, angle with my shitty eyes that that is uh, really coming across on the camera at all. <laughs> it's not like I want to bring attention to my shitty eyebrows. I tell people at work because I'll go into uh, the bathroom at some point during a shift and uh, look in the mirror and just fucking eyebrows are going boom they're fucking going north and north and southwest over here and they're just doing all kinds of fucking things and i'm like i go to my coworkers and i'm saying you need to fucking tell me when that's happening because i just i can you know brush them to the side and make them halfway fucking normal but you got to tell me you know is it a running joke in that fucking place that i'm just going <laughs> look at smith's fucking eyebrows Somebody's got to tell me. Uh, but I'm just like, would I dare to do that myself? Because, again, I'm skipping haircuts for a while. I'm going to go get a trim soon just so it grows halfway uh, uh, halfway decent. doesn't look all ridiculous. Um, because with my thick-ass hair, it does just go out, you know? So <laughs> I need to uh, have something done with it while the process is happening. So I will get it trimmed, but in that fucking, I don't think I would do that myself. Uh, it would just be a fucking disaster. <laughs> uh, Dulcify. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let's scroll some fucking headlines here. Scroll some fucking headlines. Anybody on the live stream? Hi to Joe. First song of the shuffle, I said, please. You said, not yet. I said, he's going to shit can it. You did, and I was glad. This is how it mostly goes, except the second one was vomit. Yeah, it was kind of vomit. Uh, I'm really trying to feel like what band specifically that fucking song reminded me of, and it was not uh, anything that I would want to fucking listen to. <laughs> uh, headline scrolls. Man, this is fucking funny. And the fact that I know people that were uh, at least a little bit shocked and or dismayed, bummed out, whatever the fucking words are, uh, made me laugh even more. Joey Chestnut banned from Nathan's hot dog eating contest. <laughs> he went to the dark side, man. <laughs> uh, I'm on record as saying that the fucking hot dog eating contest is... Uh, uh, one of the worst events in humanity's fucking history, you know? It's just gross. Even as somebody who has eaten a lot of hot dogs for publicity uh, on the old radio show, my The Afternoon Hangover with Ryan, we had fucking Tannery Creek Meat Market uh, in the studio and cooking hot dogs for everybody, and there was a fuck ton of hot dogs left over. Uh, uh, and... I'm like, well, we're doing an afternoon show, a co-host, a team afternoon show called the afternoon hangover and uh <laughs> fucking i was like do you th how many hot dogs do you think i can eat by the end of the show i bet you there were 13 hot dogs left and they were big fucking long foot long fucking legit uh hot dogs and i don't know if there were th i don't know how many are left i ate almost all of them i think i ate 12 hot dogs and I didn't eat the last one. It was like, well, why didn't you just eat the fucking last one? I think that's pretty much exactly how it went. Why don't you just eat the fucking last one? So even that being said, that I've done things like that before, it I felt horrible about myself. You know, I was like, oh, there's probably people fucking that could use those hot dogs in this very community. And I am fucking eating them for uh, uh, fucking bullshit Nielsen ratings. Uh, anyway, Chestnut has won the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, contest 16 of the last 17 years, has been banned from the event the Major League Eating has announced. <laughs> the Major League Eating, how about Major League Eating, which I just found out fucking yesterday was a thing. Uh, the ban apparently stems from Chestnut's new partnership with rival vegan food brand. <laughs> 
<laughs> he went to the fucking dark side, man. And again, I've seen people post this. And then I've seen people actually that I uh, uh, kind of know, maybe a little bit anyway, uh, like, uh, like care react or angry react. I'm like, dude, I bet you this guy made so much fucking bank uh, endorsing these goddamn hot dogs. I would be like, how much would it take to go vegan? But a lot of these fucking people that are outraged about this are just hate the idea of vegan. I don't hate the idea of vegan. I see there's probably benefits to it. There probably will be a time in our future where uh, eating meat is not really a viable fucking solution anymore, you know? Unless we turn to murder. (laughs) That's the only way. Uh, But uh, there's probably going to be a time, you know? I think of like Star Trek. I think that shit it could be a fucking reality, man. You know, if you figure out replicators, I mean, they're figuring out how to genetically fucking grow fucking chicken. Would I eat it right now? Yeah. If you were to tell me, hey, let's do a fucking something in your mouth episode uh, where we blind taste test fucking cloned, grown fucking chicken meat. They're like, all right, <laughs> let's fucking do it. Why the fuck not? You know, uh... People are fucking hilarious with their outrage. It's like, are you really that upset that somebody's vegan? You know? I'll never eat that fucking shit. Then don't. You know? Again, there's probably a point in our future where we might have to all go vegan or we just all decide to. But that time is not now. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm ever going to do it. I've toyed with vegetarian diets before, a little bit here and there. And I might go on, like, streaks of vegetarian every once in a while. But uh, I like fucking uh, steaks too much, man, you know? Anyway, let's continue this fucking story. Chestnut has become a 4th of July staple, winning 16 of the last 17 Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, including each of the last eight. He also holds the all-time record with 76 hot dogs and buns eaten. That's another part about, like, why it's the worst thing fuck to watch is the way that that fucking asshole eats those fucking hot dogs, where he doesn't eat dip it in water. The worst thing in the world is a soggy bun. And when I did my fucking hot dog eating contest, they were dry buns, all right? So the whole act of, like, soaking the bun in water to make it soggier is fucking disgusting and makes me want to fucking vomit when I watch it. Uh, <laughs> I need to find out how much... This fucking guy is making from this endorsement. It, is it something where, because I think Nathan's puts on the hot dog eating contest. They're the ones that banned him from this. And I'm just wondering if he is going vegan and how much goddamn money he's making. We are devastated to learn that Joey Chestnut has chosen to represent a rival brand that sells plant-based hot dogs rather than competing in the 2024 Nathan's Famous Fourth of July hot dog eating contest. I wonder how much money he made from... Uh, winning the hot dog eating contest, it couldn't have been fucking much, you know. Again, you know, you can, you don't even have to give up hot dogs. You can endorse the fuck out of that company, though. MLE <laughs> Nathan's went to great lengths in recent months. It fucking cracks me the fuck up that uh, there's a major league eating MLE uh, went to great lengths to to accommodate Joey and his management team agreeing to their appearance fee requests and allowing Joey to compete in a rival unbranded hot dog eating contest on Labor Day. For nearly two decades, we've, we have worked under the same basic hot dog exclusivity provisions. However, it seems that Joey and his managers have prioritized a new partnership with a different hot dog brand over our longtime relationship. Joey Chestnut is an American hero. No, he is fucking not. We would have lo- we would love nothing more than to have him at the Nathan's famous international hot dog eating contest, which he has dominated for years. There is still the opportunity for him to choose Nathan's in Fourth of July over the plant based hot dog and return to the adoring fans of Coney Island. Blah blah blah. It doesn't even say how much he fucking made. Uh, endorsing impossible impossible in- <laughs> dogs. Uh, nope. Anyway, good for fucking. Dickhead. Wouldn't a vegan hot dog eating contest, uh, do you think that could happen? Of course it could, right? But if it did, wouldn't it be the ultimate fucking, like, 
oxymoron, you know? Like, you're vegan and you're trying to do things, but you're still promoting fucking eating like an asshole. Uh, what's next? Far. <laughs> this story is pretty fucking quick. Fargo woman. Oh, I don't even have that story anymore. Son of a bitch. But basically, a Fargo, North Dakota woman is facing 30 years in jail for bong water because there's still bullshit-ass fucking laws. Even in this particular case, I'm trying to remember because I did read it very briefly. Um, uh, uh, most of the law in at least North Dakota has taken away most most of the weed laws have been changed enough so you're not going to get busted for having a little bit, but you still get nailed for having residue or something. I'm fucking totally forgetting it. Anyway, she had eight ounces of bong water in her car. Uh, some meth, too, which whatever, fucking, you know, hey, do your thing, I suppose. But, <laughs> like, you're facing 30 years in prison for fucking bong water. I'm trying to really wrap my head around the fucking... The injustice of our fucking legal system is pretty... Uh, it's pretty fun. It's something you got to navigate in life, I suppose. Uh, next... Denmark <laughs> recalls Korean ramen for being too spicy. Like, I don't know. Again, I'm going to have to get that for the something in your mouth series. Uh, Denmark has called, recalled several spicy ramen noodle products made by South Korean company Samyang, claiming that the capacitor levels could poison consumers. Really? Three fiery flavors? Of the ramen line are being withdrawn. Bulldog and three times spicy and hot chicken. Two times spicy and hot chicken and hot chicken stew. Denmark's food agency issued the recall, urging consumers to abandon the product. But they say that there's the makers say there's no problem with the quality of food. We understand that the Danish Food Authority recalled the products not because of a problem in the quality, the quality, but because they're too spicy. Products are being reported globally, exported globally. Excuse me. But this is the first time they've been recalled for the above reason. Unknown if any in specific incidents in Denmark had prompted authorities there to take action. Uh, anyway, it can't be that fucking bad. I'm going to have to get that. Uh... <laughs> Finds Amazon. Goes to Sam Yang. Sam Yang to get some fucking ramen. Oh, boy. You know what? <sighs> Example number 658. Well, I'm getting old before we do the 420 break. I don't know how many times I've talked about my shitty knee, uh, but it has reached extra shitty fucking proportions, man. For years and years, I had a bad jump when I was in the Army. It, wasn't, I don't know, it was a bad jump, but specifically a bad landing. <laughs> and where essentially I just dropped straight It was dark I didn't know where the fuck ground was And I just j dropped straight Thankfully my feet and knees were together And with all of my weight Everything Pack, combat, load All that shit Fucking All of it Right on my fucking On my knees I basically buckled and did the opposite of like Hyperextending your knee Where I sat down basically And I broke my tailbone for sure they never told me that. I never. They just gave you ibuprofen. Ibuprofen said, "Here, take a day off and go back to fucking work." <laughs> That's kind of how it worked. Um, and I still remember it was a night jump, and we had red chem lights. And uh, if you're fucked up and injured, you're supposed to break them. And uh, uh, like glow, red glow sticks. I don't know if people know what the fuck a chem light is. And if you're injured, you throw that fucking chem stick in the air, or wave it around, or hey, I'm fucking injured. And I landed so fucking hard. It was one of those where you just fucking, it, it's so, you, it hurts so much you cry, but it sounds like a laugh. It's like, <laughs> like one of those fucking things. And I was just like, oh my God. I, it, my ankle, my knee, and my tailbone in one fucking shot. And I just landed straight down like a sack of fucking potatoes. And uh, again, 
fucking, I was like, oh, I'm going to break this fucking chem light out. But I, at some point, I was like, no, don't be pussy. <laughs> don't do that. And I, got, I was like, okay, fucking, I got up and everything fucking sucked. But again, I never got it diagnosed with anything up past, you know, hey, here's some fucking ibuprofen. And it's just one of those things. I say it all the time. Paratroopers have shitty knees. It just takes one bad jump, really, or a collective group of them. Who the fuck knows? But collectively through my whole life, it's been getting shittier and clickier. <laughs> and I went a long time without fucking health insurance. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? I know it's bad. It's getting bad. I remember fucking a dozen years ago now uh, where it just I did a really long radio shift. I was just sitting on the radio fucking chair for like 15 hours. And really long shift, like I said, and uh, uh, my fucking knee just started swelling up like a fucking tennis ball on the side of it. But it lasted like 24 hours less than. I was like, yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> just go on about your fucking day. And again, it progressively clicky where you just move it and it goes click, click. And there's a specific spot where it would just click. If you just move it the right way, you could even do it if you wanted to. And just been, been getting worse and worse and worse. And then at work, I was like, I bet you for two to three days or something, and I walk a lot of fucking miles when I'm walking. It's a big place. It's a big building. And, uh, you know, it was, I bet two to three days where it was just every time I would walk, click, click, <laughs> click. And then at some point, I want to say Friday, Friday while I was working. There's a lot of lateral movement, you know, and I did something and it goes <laughs> just like that. And I was like, well, that's wrong. And now it really fucking hurts. And it was, it, it was you know, it was like, it was like when, uh, you know, like your wheel bearings going out in your fucking car, you could feel it going clunk, clunk every once in a while or something. You know, and then it just goes. <laughs> I think that's what happened. I'm pretty sure. I'm like, fuck, man. Um, uh, and then I work Saturday, and it was so swollen. I had fucking. I was wear. I, I wear a knee brace to work, and that happened while I was wearing a knee brace. And I'm not even going to be able to wear a knee brace when I go to work today because that fucking uh, created some. It didn't create. Uh, I was going to say an abscess. That's not it. It just rubbed raw my fucking uh, underneath my knee from whatever way I was wearing it. So I have Neosporin on it right now, so I'm not going to wear a brace tonight. But uh, the point of the fucking story is, is that my knee, there's no lateral movement whatsoever. It's fucking toasted. And it is better uh, now than it was but it's still really, really shitty. Now I have to go to the fucking doctor, and now I'm looking because I didn't go to the, didn't have insurance for years. I didn't have a fucking doctor. And now that I have insurance, I'm like, well, that's something that has to be looked at because my ass is not going to be able to walk a fucking mountainous country through the trail system <laughs> with this fucking knee. There's just no way. So now I'm looking for a doctor in town or somewhere close. I don't know. Uh, looking at a couple places, and I'm just realizing, holy fuck, there's so much paperwork you got to fill out. So that's going to happen tonight. I was going to give it a couple days just to see if it got drastically better, even though it's one of those things you just put off and you need to know you do it, not only for your knee, but because you're fucking about 50, and you, there's things that need to get checked out when you're about 50, you know? Uh, so I'm getting forced into that. So now I'm just waiting, uh, not waiting, looking to find a doctor and I'm almost close to finding a doctor because I got to go in. I know that the, you got to get, you got to get, uh, essentially, uh, pointed in the right direction or referred to a knee specialist or something like that. Like I can work and do things, but I got to fucking walk so tenderly, like going down and upstairs is a real fucking challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt necessarily, but I'm just worried that it's so weak, it's just going to give, and it's my fucking leg's going to fall off, you know? And if thankfully it's not the way it was. I've kind of trained my leg. Thankfully, the steps in my apartment are so big that I've started to walk them almost like rehab, where 
Uh, and I have to make sure that my knee, I'm doing a conscious effort to bend my fucking knee <laughs> so I can get them up to the next step because it didn't want to bend. And I was tripping up the stairs the first couple times. And I'm like, well, okay, that fucking sucks. And it just makes everything worse. And I'm just like, this is going to be fucking horrible. I am fully expecting that I'm going to need some kind of knee surgery. I could be wrong. It is starting to be a little bit better, but it's still fucky. I, there's no way I can be old Juki Smith. <laughs> what, you know, uh, everything has to be deliberate. Everything has to be straight. I'm going to make a fucking right-hand turn or something. I got to stop and move my whole goddamn body and lift my leg up because uh, this knee is not. I am, wouldn't be shocked if I need a fucking knee replacement. If any of those things happen, uh, it's, I don't know. I know I need to get it fixed. I knew that forever. I was hoping it would fucking hold on for a while. But if any of these fucking, those things happen, I'm just hoping, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen with like this podcast or things. If it's something where I can't walk to do my job, and I have to get some other kind of job or something, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen, you know? I'm, <laughs> I'm usually pretty optimistic, and I am still, but I know this knee's fucked, and I know uh, if it requires something major, then, uh, you know, maybe it can be fixed with rehab. Who the fuck knows? But if it's something major, uh, I don't know. <laughs> if I can't keep this fucking apartment, uh, yeah. I don't know. Again, I'm an optimist. I'm an optimist. But it fucking sucks. It just hurts fucking sitting here, you know. It's not as swollen as it was, so that's something. Uh, all right. Let's stop talking about my shitty knee. Just know it's a, what? You don't have to know it's a thing. I guess I couldn't have said anything, but it happened. So what the fuck ever. Back to the fucking smith hole. And that is going to wrap up the uh, podcast for today. I do have a couple other things that you know I want to get to, but we've been yapping for close to 90 minutes now, and that means I need to really get ready for work and uh, that whole thing in a couple hours, but still, i got to get ready for work. Um, that being said, guys, I had a blast. Hopefully, you're digging the show, digging the podcast. If you are, shoot me a message. Tell me what you're digging about it, you know. Uh, throw a, a comment on a whatever, on a whatever. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, Smith, stop saying that. And that is it for me. I'm done out of here. Back next time. Until next time. So long, sucker. Good night, everybody. I am so, so sorry for everything that has happened. Me, 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 me. Bye bye. Yeah, all right. I'll see you guys there. Yeah. Bought a bar and get your <laughs> face, huh? Give me pay, bitch. Sit, boo boo, sit. Good job. I love y'all very much. Peace out. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. What the hell, everything?